this portion of the broadcast of the 2019 Springfield Christmas Parade, Silver Bells, It's Christmas Time in the City, is brought to you in part by Krispy Kreme Donuts. It takes a lot of sponsors to put on the parade. Here is the stage sponsor for 2019, CenturyLink. Let's give a welcome to Steve Kirks, and he is the senior manager with CenturyLink here in Springfield. Good to have you here. Hey, Tom, it's great to be here. All right, now you are a big part of the, oh. the Christmas parade here in Springfield. Yeah, it's a part of our guiding principles to be strongly connected and involved in the communities that uh, we serve, and CenturyLink's just proud to be a sponsor this year for the parade. Why do you think CenturyLink is such a good fit with this going on and with the, the community at large? Well, as part of the things that CenturyLink does, we, we try to make strong connections for all of our community, uh, from the people that we serve or for the people that work here too. Mm -hmm. And you know, you said connections, big connections. Oh. Tell us about the services that CenturyLink is involved in right now. So we're doing a partnership with the City Utilities Group and uh, the SpringNet Group inside that mm -hmm. we're going to do fiber internet uh, to over 115,000 households and businesses here in Springfield. That's very exciting news for anybody who uses a computer. Yes, very much so. Okay, everybody always wants to know when. How do they keep track of what uh -oh. CenturyLink is doing? Yeah, that's, that's a great question. Uh, you simply go to CenturyLink.com slash Springfield. Uh, read through the web page there and then click the button to sign up and you'll get notified when it's available in your neighborhood. That's great news. Thanks to you for hey, being thanks, a part Tom. and for CenturyLink being a part of the parade. Like to say anything to our viewers? Oh, just a happy holidays, everybody. Thank you very much from CenturyLink. You know what? These band members are also going to be hungry afterward, all right? <laughs> Working yeah. up an appetite. Exactly. So why not stop at Krispy Kreme? Our friends at Krispy Kreme are driving this 1946 Krispy Kreme truck, wishing you a happy holiday season. Of course, Krispy Kreme familiar with those of us here on Ozarks Fox and Color 10. Yes, and look who this is, Springfield Batman. The Project Bat Foundation gives hope and optimism to children and the community, starting with Springfield Batman visiting children at the local hospitals, giving out bat packs full of coloring books, crayons, and toys to help keep kids' minds at ease. Even crime takes a day off for the Christmas parade for <laughs> yes. Batman. This who you're listening to is the Parkview Lassies Drum and Bugle Corps under the direction of Sarah Cook and Jennifer Barnes. The Parkview Lassies wish you all season's greetings and a happy new year. Following them is Los Cabos Mexican Grill. Look, they're located on National Avenue and very easy to spot. They got that salmon pink and turquoise exterior there. Plenty of Tex-Mex dishes with lots of flavors. Today they enter the parade with posadas and piñatas and wishing everyone Feliz Navidad. Oh, I like that. Feliz Navidad. I heard that a bunch. Next up, we have Midwest Family Radio with three of your favorite radio stations. The first being... Your favorite country Christmas station, 105.1, The Bull. We also have Q102.1, Springfield's rock station. I just saw someone dump half a bucket of candy out as well. There, there's some fan favorites there. Oh, wow. <laughs> they got lucky. They were in the right place at the right time. There's Q1021 right here rolling through. The Q crew looking great as they cruise on down downtown. And they're followed by 1047 The Cave playing some jams on their float. That's talent to play guitar while wearing gloves, but that's might be heard for you. I see Jay Stevens throwing candy too with no sleeves. How is he not freezing to death? <laughs> He's running on pure enthusiasm, keeping him warm. <laughs> All right, guys, Christmas spirits causing you some problems. Who are you gonna call? Ghostbusters of the Ozarks has been in the Springfield Ozarks area for 10 years. It's a nonprofit charity organization ready for your next charity event and ready to lift some spirits and, of course, bust some ghosts. Who knows? There could be ghosts at Christmas. Hey. If so, they're going to get busted. Ghosts at Christmas is a thing. We all know this, right? Next up, we have Hanson Roofing, family owned and operated in Springfield since 1985. Hanson Roofing and Exteriors is here to wish you a happy holidays.
How about some more music right now? Here comes the Parkview Band under the direction of Curtis Tipton and Bridget Rourke. They're spreading holiday cheer to all in this holiday time of year. Let's take a listen and see how Parkview sounds today. lime green and sequins I'm all about that this is also a lot of participation here it's a large looking band mm-hmm. Love to get everyone all there and in sync and moving but hey the vikings getting it done It's snowing. The Springfield wow. Contractors Association has brought along its gingerbread construction crew. That looks just about good enough to eat. <laughs> this is a gingerbread family here. The SCA represents the commercial and industrial construction industry in southwest Missouri. The association focuses on improving relationships, promoting quality, and developing a talent pipeline on behalf of more than 330 members. Great construction right there, of course. And the, you know what? They're also bringing the big, the big dogs with them. The big <laughs> guns right there. Yeah. Here comes the Expedia Group, bringing the world within reach. Expedia is the world's travel platform with more than 200 travel sites serving over 70 countries. Got employees across the globe committed to bringing that Christmas spirit. Does Expedia do trips to the North Pole? Apparently they do. That's and Santa's helpers are really cute. <laughs> standing at the North Pole. Oh, very nice. They're here to survey and get us ready for that Christmas time of year, right? Relentless on the leaving. Next up, we have the Springfield Little Theater, which is currently in its 85th season with shows at the historic Landers Theater, like Disney's Frozen Junior, Hello Dolly, Matilda the Musical, Kinky Boots, and more. It also offers classes and production at its new education facility, the Judith Inyert Reynolds School of Performing Arts. For the Springfield Little Theater, with all the magic of live theater, their silver bells will never stop ringing. So good to see such young folks being taught that craft so early. Very nice to see. Here come the Boy Scouts of America with a camping Christmas. The Ozark Trails Council Pathfinders District of the Boy Scouts of America is ready to go camping even during these cold winter months and show Springfield the joys of scouting. One of the great wonders is Camp Arrowhead, the local scout camp which is full of experiences and stories going back to the 1920s. The Pathfinder District serves nearly 4,000 youths in Green and Christian counties. Love to see the kid participation in this as well. Mm -hmm. Fitting for the Boy Scouts to do too, right? They and have enough, the yeah. They have enough energy to run around and <laughs> and not be cold. They certainly do, <laughs> yes. Coming up next, we have the Pleasant Hope Pirate Power Band, led by director Randall Bearden. The Pirate Power Band from Pleasant Hope wishes you and yours a happy holiday season. I love the snowman outfits, the full snowman outfits. The onesies? Yeah. <laughs> Keep you warm from head to toe. that pirate flag what you see coming up right behind that 
is the porta potty on a move. <laughs> I love oh, it. No. From BWI Sanitation. Hopefully it doesn't tip over. <laughs> Hopefully not. It's your most capable portable toilet company, and they don't all move like that. That's just one, we promise. BWI Sanitation takes pride in offering a needed service that can go unnoticed if properly attended to. Happy holidays from BWI. We've got the Springfield Kiwanis Club right here coming down the lane with a float showing an old-fashioned Christmas with a reading of Twas the Night Before Christmas. The float represents the four Kiwanis Clubs around downtown, north side, south side, and Ozark Empire, along with key clubs from Central and Kickapoo High Schools. They're dedicated to the kids of the Ozarks providing service projects throughout the city. Wishing everyone a Merry Christmas. Grandpa's on his recliner. That's really the way to read the night before Christmas. And that's a comfy job to have today, right? It <laughs> sure is. <laughs> Following the Kiwanis Club is Penske Truck Leasing. There they are. They have their GoPenske.com truck. More than yellow trucks, though, whether you're family moving across town or a corporation with a global distribution network. They deliver innovative transportation and logistics solutions. No off-season for baseball. The Springfield Cardinals coming down the pike. We've got Louie presenting a Cardinals Christmas. Look at the great sweater that we got right here. Just a reminder, when it warms up, Springfield Cardinals open up the 2020 season at Hammonds Field on Thursday, April 16th. Go to SpringfieldCardinals.com for more info.